Welcome to our audio processing tutorial. Today we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers. Recorded audio of one note produces multiple onset times. This is a common challenge when working with pitch and onset detection using the Librosa library. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. The issue you're facing with multiple onset times when recording your guitar is likely due to noise interference. Let's explore how to address this problem. First, let's review your current approach. You're using Librosa's onset detection and pitch tracking functions. However, noise can confuse these algorithms. To reduce noise, consider improving your recording setup. Using a better microphone or recording in a quieter environment can significantly enhance audio quality. Additionally, you can apply more advanced noise reduction techniques. For example, using a noise gate or spectral subtraction can help clean up your audio before processing. Finally, after implementing these changes, test your setup again. You should see improved results in onset detection and pitch tracking. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user shares three key observations about the onset detection algorithm for recorded audio. First, the algorithm adjusts for background noise, which can lead to false triggers from low-quality microphones. Second, the initial samples of the recording have very low noise, causing the algorithm to misidentify the onset time of the note. Lastly, frequency filtering may not be effective, so the user opted for thresholding based on RMS energy to accurately detect valid onset events. To address the issues, the user cut the first 22 to 40 samples to normalize the recording. They then calculated the RMS energy to set a threshold for valid onset detection, ensuring only significant events were recognized. The user provides a code snippet using the Librosa library to implement their approach, including loading the audio, detecting onsets, and visualizing the results with a plot showing the waveform and detected onset times. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To address the issue of multiple onset times from a single note, consider normalizing your sound sample first. The onset detection function has optional arguments that can help refine your results. You might want to try using functions like peak pick or backtrack to filter the onset times. Here's an updated code snippet that utilizes a pre-computed onset envelope. This approach includes a high-pass filter to improve detection accuracy. Check if this modification yields better results. After implementing these changes, test to see if the onset detection improves. Adjusting your approach can lead to more accurate results.
And that's it guys. I hope the videos helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.